welcome back to another John Deere 110 video. Today uh, we're gonna take the uh, lug uh, tires off and the chains and also take the plow off. We're gonna put back these uh, turf tires and also put the uh, mower deck on it so we can go and uh, do some mowing this summer. These lost air because they were sitting for a long time. So I'm just gonna put some air back in and then we'll get going. That's about 10 PSI for that one. Should be good enough for now. Same for this one. Not a very good day to do this. It's hot today. I'm in the garage, but still, I might close the door. Get some cool oil out of the basement. Okay. About 10. That's good. Yeah, when I close the garage, open up the basement door. Hopefully, get some cool air. Right. He's out of the way. I'm gonna do maybe the other side first, quickly. leave them like this leave the chains on maybe get the rag and uh, soak it in WD-40 and just kind of wipe the chain to keep it from rusting further but looks good put it aside now these guys will put it back on careful not to damage the paint because it took me a while to paint these. I just want to be a little bit careful when taking these lug nuts off. Okay. easier to put on.
tighten it a little bit. Lower it down. Push it by hand. Take the uh, blade off. But first, I'm gonna put away these tires. Let's see if I can just get this done right now. WD-40. Just kind of I wonder if I can just spray it. it might be easier. Doing this with a rag, let's see if you can just spray it. Might work a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. take the blade off it's really pretty easy there's this arm here so there's there's a bolt right there that I take off this one it's another one on the other side and also another arm that's on the other side that has one bolt so really there's four bolts The, the, the arm on this side is a little bit different because it goes under the some pulleys here and just kind of swings up. Goes right there. But really, it's four bolts. And then take the pin out um, to separate the blade from the arm that operates the uh, blade, which goes up and down. Okay. So take it out there, and then also take it out underneath the tractor, which is right here, right there. Again, another pin or a bolt. I think I have a bolt there. So all in all, four bolts and two pins, one here and then one there. I have a bolt for, for, the, uh, for the pin there, but uh, I think I have some pins. I might just do that, put a pin there easier to remove next time. The other side there is a spring in the way so I'm just gonna take it off I'll show you here so there's the bolt spring 
so you go ahead and take it out. This is just a little bit in the way of the bolt coming out. See if I can take that out. Okay. And I'll put the mechanism this way. Now you should be able, it's clear, it'll come out. Okay. Might be under a little bit of attention from the spring. I think what I'll do next is uh, take that pin out to kind of release the tension from the uh, helper spring. So again, there's a pin in here, just take it out. And I'm gonna lift the blade up by hand just a little bit. Let's see if I can release some tension on this pin, which is kind of heavy. Go and it's out. Okay, I'm just gonna take it, put it back in here so I don't lose it, and I'll stay right there. Okay, there's the arm, drops down. Drop down two. There we go. Uh, now the spring I'm going to put back. One I the one I took off. more bolts, that one and that one, and the blades should just kind of slide up with these grooves. Let's see. I made sure you watch the video where I refurbished the blade. You'll kind of see the bushings I used and the bolts. They're available at the dealer. You just go and pick them up. They're not too expensive either. Let's see.
probably put these back in like that so it doesn't so all this doesn't move too much so i'll take this bolt back out that's it three and one last thing is of course the lift rod you can take that out too okay Blade, put it out of the way. That blade is pretty heavy. Probably need two people to carry it. Oh, I got it right over there. I'll find a place for it, but for now, the tractor is free. I can go ahead and put a deck on it. So we're gonna put this bolt back. It'll sit right there. And this way I don't lose it. Anytime you can put a bolt back in its place and it's not in the way of anything, I do that. Okay. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Also, we're gonna have to replace that or uh, remove the lifting rod. Okay. Yeah, it's a uh, nine sixteen. because he didn't have an original one but it works it looks like I didn't tighten this lock nut on here it can't fall off but it's just if I do that it'll, uh, it'll make sure that it always stays in the same place So I'll take this put it back here so I don't lose the hardware. Okay, that's it. So you take the uh, blade off and then you put it back on the same way. Pretty simple. Now I'm gonna go get the deck. I have it in the corner of the garage. Go get it. Here's the deck. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put the deck under the tractor. I have the, maybe I can do the plate first. So, then it comes out. The rod comes out. Slides over just like that, and then the pin just goes back in. Okay. Actually, I'm not gonna do that right now because I might need to move it in, move it in and out when I attach the deck. So I'm just gonna leave that there for now. This way, can kind of swing it out. Okay. I'm gonna use the cardboard to put the deck on and then slide it under the 
track and sort of slide and drag the wheels on the concrete and uh, make a flat spot in them. So let's see. Let's see if this works. I think that's kind of what I did last time, so it should work. It goes all the way through to the other side. I'll go through the other side too. this free so I can move the back in and out we can attach the left side of the deck and then go to the other side to the right and then install the belt and uh, um, attach the deck so to attach the deck it's this guy here it goes right there and then also there's another right there this piece that attaches to right there so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then move to the other side to do the same and install the belt so first we'll do the inner one take the pin off right there take the deck lift it up just a little bit so that we can Insert the pin. It's right there. And then put secure it. Same to this one. Goes in the middle. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top plate or whatever this is called, take it off. It will be easier. Two. 
kind of attach the deck. And this is this is sort of the last thing we put on. So take this off, put it down, and then this way the deck can kind of walk back and forth. Be, it's gonna be easier. See, so it just kind of goes back a bit. Put that in there. Now we'll go to the other side. I'll show you how to place the belt. First, so we're gonna take the belt before before we do any attachments. Before we attach this one or this one, I take the belt, put it like this okay and then not on this wheel right now I'm gonna take it off okay you're gonna attach the belt to here first to the pulley right there okay and the way we do that is you also gotta make sure that the belt is put it properly so it's laying flat as you see on the on the deck you take this side up and then you're gonna have a loop which goes over the wheel if you if you do it the other way like this your deck is not gonna spin the proper way right so it has to go twist this way and then put on the uh, pulley so let's do that Got you there. I'm gonna twist it and just gonna attach, attach it to that pulley. Okay. It's pretty easy at this point. See right there. Okay, the slides over. Okay. Now Now we can go ahead and attach the deck. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one first again. Take the cutter pin out, take the pin out, place it over it like that. Make sure that the head is on the outside. Cut up and back in, just like that, and then I can attach this one here. Okay, cut up and back in, and we're done here. We're gonna go up front. Okay, that's it for that. We're gonna go up front, put the plate back on and then put the belt back on, that's it. All right. I'm just gonna lift it up a bit so this slides in easy. There we go. I'm gonna turn the wheels to, to the right. Just make it easier for me to put the this pin back in there. All right. See. Okay. I'm just gonna pull this way a little bit, just to make it easier for this to slide in.
good. Put back in. Okay, and the only thing now is to put the belt on the back pulley there. So what we need to do is this this lever right here. We need to lift it. This will make this pulley go back and give you enough slack to take the belt and put it over the over that uh, wheel or that pulley. Okay. I usually use a like a socket and a little extension um, pipe, but let's see what I have around so we can do that. So I have a socket and a little extension to it. I'm gonna place it right over here and I'm just gonna try to pull that way. For that pulley to come out like that. Hopefully that's enough for me to go over here, take the belt. Oh, I fell off the other one. Let me do that again. try to do is pull it the same time I lift so it doesn't fall off that pulley again my hand over here and oh, okay off. try again this is the only part that's a little bit tricky so there we go go and it's on that's it as you see it's on the it's on this pulley okay and then the inner the inner you see the inner side of the belt is sort of flat on the deck and then it goes under the wheel, comes back up. Just give you kind of a sense of what it looks like on uh, there to make sure that it that the blades spin properly. Okay, that's it. Deck is on. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna clean up. Maybe even go cut some grass. <laughs>